Hey guys, this is Andy and Eric from Mobile Must Have, and sorry for the background noise, we're filming at the warehouse today, um, but in this video we wanted to go over the panorama. Yeah, so the panorama 4x4 directional panel antenna is a beast. <laughs> it, this thing is huge. It's the size of me. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot going on inside of that antenna. Um, to give you kind of an idea, this is our X-Pole. This is a 2x2, two two, and yeah, this is a 4x4, four four, so it's about twice the size. Two of them. <laughs> well, this antenna um, is not typically used for RV use, although it definitely can be, especially if you're, you're out on the fringes. Um, it's a fairly big antenna, but it does have some, some pretty impressive specifications. Um, it is a directional antenna, meaning that you do have to point it um, and it comes with various mounting options we'll go over in a minute. <laughs> All right, so this directional antenna has 600 megahertz support. It is a 4G and a 5G capable antenna. Specs are located under the documentation uh, tab on the store. Um, in terms of typical use, we're looking at like a lot of rural home customers are using these. Um, we've got customers that are doing commercial applications yeah, in oil, oil fields and in Texas. Yep. Uh, um, but this is, this is when it's all about performance and when it's all about how far you can get that cell signal from that cell tower, this is where you want to look at. Yeah. From an RV usability standpoint, it gets a little bit of a low score from us just because it's so big, it's so heavy, it takes up a lot of space. We have a lot of other antennas that you don't ever really have to think about. Right. They're just always on. Um, but this could be for that special application. Yeah. So um, it's got five meters or about 15 feet of cable lead. Um, that'll get you from the antenna to the modem. Uh, a really strong application for this is going to be the Category 18 Plus, so Category 20 5G uh, pep wave modems are going to really scream with this with this particular antenna. Um, you can also use it with Category 12 Duo modems, yep. um, but just keep in mind because it's directional, you're going to be pointing at one cell tower. Yeah, you got so one tower. if you've got two of the same SIM cards in it, so you're running two AT&T SIMs in a Duo or two Verizon or two whatever, that could be good. Or you'd have to find a cell tower that had multiple carriers on it, which does happen. It's possible. Yeah, so that's kind of the uh, the high level. In terms of uh, mounting options, it comes with a, uh, this is the flat kind of wall mount, uh, locking mount. Uh, so that'll screw to the back with the included hardware. Uh, this will screw to the wall and then you can close that and lock that in place. But what I really kind of like is this pole mount application that they've they've brought into the mix. And what we basically have is your standard kind of U-bolts uh, on one side and then an articulating uh, pointing mechanism that allows you to point it up, down, left, right, and then tighten the screws to really dial in a, um, a mounting situation yeah, and I get that right angle put in right yeah it really just depends on uh, how far away you want it from the wall or from the pole if you're going to use this versus this uh, mount that's pretty much it guys I mean we're not going to go too deep into the specs and whatnot because it's all stuff you can read on the uh, included documentation but it's a really great antenna if you're looking for that 4x4 MIMO cellular performance Thanks, guys. If you have any questions, hit us on chat on our website. You can also email us at info at mobilemusthave.com, and we hope to see you on the road. Thanks, guys.